Good morning, everybody. Um, it's Mrs. Arnold, head teacher here at Framingham High School, and I just wanted to spend a few moments today talking you through what our plan is going to be for post half term. As you know, high schools are not reopening fully after half term. However, we have got a plan to support all of our children with their home learning. Emails were sent out at the end of last week and they outline for each year group what the home learning will now look like. It goes through how long children should be spending on each lesson and how teachers will be titling the lessons to make it easy for you to follow on Show My Homework what it is that they need to do each day. We've decided that the 1st and 2nd of June are going to be catch up or enrichment days. We recognise that there are some families and children who for various reasons have fallen behind with some of their home learning. And what we want is for half term to be a time for you to spend together as families to relax, enjoy and rejuvenate ready for the next half term. Therefore, the 1st and 2nd of June, we will not be setting any new work. It will be there for you to catch up. If, however, you've done all of your work, then there are enrichment activities that you could be taking part in. The ones for the fir these first two days are linked to British Wildlife Week. For the rest of the, the term, there'll be one catch up or enrichment day per week. These have a range of focuses from Family Sports Day to School of Sanctuary Day. The idea is that again, as a family, you've got some time built into the week to catch up on those Show My Homeworks or to put something together that you're going to enjoy and really engage with a broader curriculum. There'll also be lots of careers opportunities available um, for our year 10s or our year 9s or 11s if they're interested in being part of those as well. Following the government advice um, about reopening, um, from the 1st of June, we will be increasing our face-to-face -face contact with our year 10s. This will be via online learning lessons and a timetable for these will be sent out on Thursday of this week. The main school will remain open for our key worker and vulnerable children um, and that will be open as childcare following the same timetable as it has for recent weeks. We will also make sure that on the 2nd of June there is an opportunity for all families to come into school to collect any resources that they need. We have sent details out on the parent mail that went on Friday but there will be a form that goes to you this week and on that you'll be able to order anything you need from glue sticks to maths exercise books to um, folders or additional paper. If you're not able to make it on the slot that you have been given then there'll be opportunity to either have things posted home to you or for you to collect them from reception um, in an organised fashion to ensure that we're still following social distancing. So submitting work and doing your work next half term will be online, it will be the same as it has been. For year nine, just a reminder that you will be submitting work for your core lessons and your core lessons include citizenship, RE, PSHE and obviously your English, your maths, your science um, as well. And then you'll only be asked to submit work for those subjects that you are going to be taking next year into GCSE. Some of the work for year nine will also step up now. So it is GCSE work getting you ready for those new courses that you'll be taking from September onwards. Thank you to everyone for all of your hard work during these challenging times. Everybody here is hugely appreciative of everything that families are doing. It is amazing how hard that all the young people are working and how much everybody is getting on and with this situation, which is incredibly difficult. This week, it's been lovely to send out loads of gold, silver and bronze awards to all those young people who've been getting lots of positive bromcoms. And as ever, it's always a delight to be writing the cards and sending the badges for Head Teachers Awards for outstanding efforts for individuals. If you do need any help, though, please be in touch with the school and we will endeavour to do all that we can to support you. We will be sending out through school meal vouchers for the May half term holiday to ensure that those um, that fight financial support is there for families as well. Finally, Friday is our final day of the fabulous deputy head teacher that we have here, Mr. Mr. Yassin. Mr. Yassin has been at the school for a number of years and has had huge numbers of triumphs and achievements whilst he's been here. He's an incredibly well-liked teacher and, a, and an amazing colleague to us all. We all wish him the very best of luck in his new adventures and hope that Taverham appreciate him as much as we've done here at Fram. Many thanks for your time this morning um, and I look forward to hearing from you and seeing all of you soon. Stay safe, stay well. Thank you.